Evening all! How are we? We're fabulous. We're amazing. Happy Thursday! Okay, so... Hi, it's me, Bev. Um, if you're used to tuning in to Be Crafty this time on a Thursday and you get the lovely, calm, relaxed, almost perfectly planned out as to what she's doing Jane, then I apologise because that is not the treat you're in for this evening. You're stuck with me. So I'm sorry about that. Um, right, let me just find you on the old tablet here. Um, yeah, because Jane was busy. Hi, Caroline. Um, Jane um, had plans today. She wasn't sure she was going to get back in time. Um, she got some of the commitments. Hi, Gail. Um, so we did a little switcheroo and Jane did Tuesday and I am doing tonight. OK, so again, hi to everyone that's joining in. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a wave. Give us a hiya. Um, but and but like I say, if you are used to tuning in to the page at this time on a Thursday because you like listening to the soothing, the soothing tones of the lovely Jane Royston, and now you've got me, I can only apologise. Um, yeah, it's quite unfortunate, and I am sorry about that. Um, also, Jane, as we know, is a prolific planner. She always, she always knows what she's up to. She knows what's happening. Um, me, not so much. I'm more of a fly by my seat of my pants kind of gal. I do sometimes have a vague plan. Um, tonight it's not even vague. I'm a bit vague. But the plan is not even vague. Okay. So hi, Rach. Hi, everybody. Right, so I do have the things up. Right, so today... I don't know if you caught yesterday it was a daytime demo so i will be putting it on the youtube page channel whatever yeah youtube channel see youtube we really need to get sorted on that and i know i do keep promising you new videos um if there's anything you want to see keep at me it is something that's on the list but unfortunately the list is something that continues to grow um it's it's uh it's a living breathing thing the list of jobs i have to do and um Basically, it just keeps getting friggin' longer. And, you know. So if there's anything specific you want to see, go on to the YouTube channel. Please let me know. Um, anyway, quickly. Um, I do like playing with new toys. And we will be playing with this one later. Yesterday, I was playing with Scribble Sticks. The Dina Wakely Scribble Sticks. And I did this in my Wednesday demo on crafting together all brands. Like that, I do it at 2 o'clock on a Wednesday. Um, they're utterly fabulous. I will be using them again. And I will use them on the Be Crafty page, of course. But what I will do is I'll make sure that demo does get onto YouTube before the weekend, that live. So that if you do want to have a look at those... We'll we might add a little bit in tonight. You never know. But it was quite... It was reasonably comprehensive. Okay. I don't know what to say to that, Caroline. Um, <laughs> so, here we go. Right, so today, the new toy... New toys is... The rustic wilderness now in a tent in an attempt to make sure that we um that i don't eat into the shop stock now when i'm ordering new colors bear in mind we have to order them blind okay so it says oh this newcomer new color is being released on such and such a date and um we order them we order a quantity not knowing what it's going to be and i can't lie i always order in the hope it's going to be a new purple or a new pink Right, and I order as much as I can at the time and whatever. Um, but <laughs> this time it was a green. Now, but I have to say, it is a beautiful green. I am loving the rustic wilderness. Okay, um, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's going to go with, for example, the crackling campfire. Really, really beautiful too. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to using it. But in an attempt not to eat into the shop stock too much, because I know this is going to be such a popular colour, um, I all I did was treat myself to one item from the colour. Okay, so this time I've got gone for the oxide i did the same with the speckled egg in the crackling campfire as well the speckled egg i had the regular ink pad for okay and the crackling campfire i got the distress oxide spray for 
<laughs> okay, so I'm sort of taking little bits out of each collection um, because uh, that sometimes they're really difficult to restock. I mean, Distress Oxide, we're struggling so hard, as I know a lot of independent retailers, at least, are struggling at the minute to get a stock of Distress Oxide because it's just the way that, you know... It's just another, for want of a better description, kick in the nuts for 2020. Can't get all the distress oxides we want. Um, but there you are. That's one of them things. What can you do? Right, so I thought we'll have a bit of a play with our rustic wilderness. Um, because why wouldn't you? You know. Do you know what I've just said about my crackling camp? Oh, it is there. It is there. Oh, but what I have, what I do quickly want to just say, though, um, in the rustic wilderness um what we want to start doing is getting in the um distress stain sprays again we used to have the whole collection um but a couple of years ago we sort of we thought we, we thought about doing something different and now we're getting all back distressy again um, and all back all things ranger you can't resist it as soon as the oxides came out and we knew how much we loved them you know that sort of went on a tangent um so now obviously we stock all the distress oxide sprays and whatever so we thought well now we need to get the distress stain sprays so the only thing that we didn't we don't have is the distress paint and in all honesty it's because we di we like dilutions paint more because you can um spray ink on it without it bubbling really that's that's pretty much why um so your rustic wilderness we do have the oxide the ink pad i have noticed today that the um the embossing glaze has already gone not everything we ordered came in on that so it was quite a small stock okay so that did go quite quickly um yeah but we've got uh, but i did order loads of everything else and most of it came um so the distress oxide ink pads the distress ink pads both the reinkers the oxide spray, the stain spray, and of course your collector's pin. Okay, um, and I'm collecting my collector's pin because they're for collecting. So why wouldn't you? You know, there you go. You know, what else can I say? Right, I'm gonna put this over because I was using my what do you call it? It's scribble sticks on here, and it's a bit mucky. All right, so. Yeah, all the excuse me, new colours um, do have their own category. At the minute, I probably will squish them together into the one because it's making the, all the categories on the side of the website enormous. Right, so first of all, I'm going to do a bit of a smush um, and we'll have a look at it in lots of different ways and see how it goes, okay? So I'm going to do a bit of a smush, which means we can see it oxidised, see what it looks like. So I've put it on my mat, and now I can't find my sprayer. Here it is. I'll stop doing this voice. Right, so on with the sprayer. Look, you can see it oxidising all on the mat. Ooh, mystical. Right, so I'm going to get all that on there. I really want to cover it, I think. We'll do a little bit of in betweeny drying. So this is just the rustic wilderness. I haven't used any other colour. So we're gonna go on here. Add on some more layers of our rustic wilderness. Oh, this is lovely. This is so much nicer than I thought it was gonna be. Like I knew it was gonna be nice. I watched Tim's video, um, Tim's live on it, but this is actually... Hello from Sweden. You know when you'll have the winter girl cosy back in stock? I hope it's okay to ask you. Ganilla, absolutely, darling. No problem at all. Um, do you know what, sweetheart? I will double check tomorrow because I actually think I may have some cosy. I think I might have some cosy that you can have, my love. I will double check for you tomorrow and I will send you an email, okay? Um, do you want or need it, Gail? Well... Gail, I'm not here to tell you what to do. And with it being Chris's birthday this week, obviously I don't want to get anyone in trouble. All I'm saying is you have purchased the other new colours and then you and you might make Rustic Wilderness feel bad if you left it out. Because if it's the only release you're not going to have this year. You know, that's all I will say. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spritz what's left. I haven't unlocked this properly and it's not spritzing. I think I've done something to my sprayer. God only knows what. 
I haven't busted it because it's one of my favourite tools. What's a collector's pin? It's a badge. Where's my pinny? Oh, did you hear that creak? That was my chair. Before anyone says anything. Where's my pinny? I did actually, I broke my ca crackling campfire one the other day. Um, but that's that's because I, I trapped my pinny in the car door. When we were at the chando, it was no other business. But yeah, so that's my Distress Speckled Egg one. Okay. They're just a fun thing to have, so I so I'm putting them on my pinny. My apron. Um which I didn't put on tonight and I'm as I'm making inky messiness, I'm kinda of hoping I am. So this is just picking up the leftovers um from my blending mat. Oh, I'm gonna to have to show you this tag in a minute. The one with the outside, just to show you the. Right, it's time to call that a day. Where's my towel? See, you're used to Jane being here, also calm, and you know, prepared. Now there's me. Right. So let me just continue to dry this, and you can look and gaze upon the gloriousness of that tag with the rustic wilderness i mean the oxidization on it is just absolutely beautiful it's almost got like a blue line to it and i think because of the blue tones in it i was worried it was going to be quite pine needles um but it's not it's just you know that is a different color it is actually a different color oh the flipping joys marvelous Right, what do I need on there now? I think we need... Come on, I don't think I've used my Bakewell in about three weeks now. You know. Oh, I feel like I've missed something. Because Mum wants to laugh at something, but she's trying to be a nice human. Right, so <laughs> I'll catch up later. So I'm going to place my um, Bakewell over this tag so that this circle is centered in the tag hole which does sound a little bit organized for me i know but that's what i'm going to go with and then oh organized for me as she says pinging all of her blending foams all across the floor now i want the color to be quite tense so intense not tense intense not tense we're not being tense okay um, we're going to bring this colour in here. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Rustic Wilderness. I'm going to get really ink up our foam here. I'm going to go through a template. Wow! Because I, I really wanted to, to get the entire richness of colour on here. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like burns. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another tag. Honestly. Tags galore. I think I might have to do like a... Some sort of art journal spread or something. With those. Right, I'm just going to grab my mini mister. That has got some water in it because I just want a fine mist. I'm just going to mist that up. And then onto here. And I'm even going to be good and get my brayer and actually roller it properly rather than just press my hand over everywhere like normal. Look at me being all good and everything. Before I lift that off. Right, okay. I think it's safe to say these are really good okay i'm really 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 happy which is a big deal for me <laughs> thank you i just thought i'd say it before anyone else did 
Okay. Chris is being a shenanigator. I tell you what, Gail, you tell him. I'll come down there. I know where you live. Like, as soon as we're out of lockdown, like. Right, so. Saying that, I could say it's for work purposes. He's shenanigating while I'm trying to work. Okay. Now, what I love about this, doing this sort of technique. Okay is you get sort of these where it looks like you've almost done a fine liner around the edges of your stick where the ink has moved to the edge and then you've got this beautiful sort of backing card backing paper backing pattern i'm not sure why you seem a bit dark hang on a second i'm going to try and move you over this way a little I'll just move some water and whatever my chair is like Captain Squeaky has like been quite silent of late now he seems to be getting his own back quite badly um, so I mean I think this is showing off the colour really really well I think it's absolutely beautiful um, what we need to do now, I think, is a little stamping. And what I think will be beautiful for this, she says, rummaging through her drawers. Whoa! Loads of stuff fell down. I could have been killed. And that's all I'm saying. Right, is I'm going to go for some of Sam's leaves. Um, it might be an obvious choice with the old rustic wilderness. Not a maple leaf though. That would not be an obvious choice. Let's go more obvious than that. Let's go with a little bit of oak, maybe. Or is it too is it too obvious to go with a leaf? It's relatively clean water, Anne. And yes, it is from yesterday's live. Whatever, Trevor. Um, so it would cro cost Chris too much if I came down. Is that because he's planning to take me out for dinner like all the time? Of course he is. Of course he is. I'm worried that that is a bit obvious and I need to go a little bit more. Guys, stamp suggestions. Do I go with the leaves or do I go with something else? I'm really not sure. Do you have the small brayer? Yes, we do. The one I just used. Yes. Listen to that chair. Eeper, eeper. The problem is with my chair. Well, there's obviously many a problem with my chair. The problem with my chair is obviously it's desperately creaky um, and everything like that. And I technically should get a new one. But it's proper comfy, like proper comfy. So, Christmas trees. I don't know if I don't think I have a Christmas tree. I don't have a Christmas tree. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Leaves that and what you'd ask me to bring you. Well, I bring you a veritable selection, Gail selection i tell you what we could add in first because i'm on on thursday i can tell you about the wednesday wow now i don't have my backing card obviously i did say the other day didn't i that i keep losing my backing cards at the minute so i am periodically bringing um getting new ones and as i'm the person that prints them i can't i don't really have any excuse for that um <laughs> the, uh, so um what we could do first is we could add in some texture with our rustic wilderness couldn't we so i'm going to get my super skinny um Thank you to everybody that's been sending me messages about their super skinnies. This week, we've had so many messages about people um, that have either just treated themselves to some super skinnies or um, they got them ages ago, but they've only just got around to using them and all this sort of thing. Um, and 
the super skinnies and, and we've got lots of people saying oh i've tried them for the first time and they're really really cool um so which is wicked so thank you so much to everybody that's been sending messages about the super skinnies we absolutely love them love them hi guys the going black and had to refresh on facebook yes i've been experiencing that a lot watching other people's lives but only on my phone on my tablet which is newer um that's for my birthday um that that seems to manage all right but my phone which isn't old i mean it's only 18 months old but um that seems to keep shutting down and it's since the facebook update it's created this facebook update i'm sorry wasn't approved by me and i don't approve i don't approve now either seems to have caused chaos a veritable chaos right so this is one of my favoriteest borders in the whole wild world it's this one on the bottom of your texture borders which is this week's wednesday wow it's half past it's, it's half past no it's not it's 50 percent off again i'm feeling very generous moving into the festive period and um, wednesday wows are usually 40 but this is a 50 percent offer again um um so seven pound 49 i think um including p and p bargain okay so i'm going to just stamp this little border into the they're not gaps because you've got the circles in there and as we've got silly circles in tonight we've got to make sure we have a few circles for those of you that are new to is there isn't a kettle boiling in the background my darling. it's my washing machine um Bless her, abs was very good and put a load of washing on. So, isn't that cool how it just sits in the bake well? Marvellous. Um, <laughs> I recently found, got some super skinnies and tells everyone they're awesome. I know, it seems to have, like I say, it seems to have been a thing just in the last week and whatever, it seems to have been... Um, people are like oh my super skinnies and it's like lots of people have got it is the large super skinny is it available as a standalone yes it is it is and if it doesn't say it is it's not telling the truth so we'll make sure that's on tomorrow as well and did you buy these last week oh my god i'm so sorry in my defense in my defense with regards to the wednesday wow and a lovely lady phoned us up today to order last week's wednesday wow not realizing that yeah and um yeah, it was yesterday before we loaded this week's Wednesday Wow. And she said, do you know what this week's Wednesday Wow is going to be? And I said, I don't, my love. I said, I'm not even lying either. I actually don't. I don't, I don't know. Because I don't know. Because I don't. We don't think about it that far in advance. We decide when we go, oh, should we do the Wednesday Wow? That's it. Okay. So, yeah. I think I've lost my chain of thought. Is it chain? Train. Whatever. Basically, whatever thought process I was having, it is now gone. Right, so I'm going to stamp my oak leaf onto here. Um, also, lots of people have been asking me about the bullet journal um that i took look at that the bullet journal that i showed on tuesday um on the hachanda show because i used the um sorry i was trying to read comments then <laughs> Because I used the snow blizzard um, that we took on to Achanda this this week on Tuesday to do a bullet journal page. Okay, but I started my December bullet journaling layout and I was asked, is this my bullet? Yeah, it is. Um, so if, to any of you guys that missed it, sorry, quick tangent coming up. Okay, um, so this is my december layout there's i'm going to be putting a quote here but i haven't picked which one yet okay so this is my december layout in my bullet journal so this is where you know you can see the month as a whole 
and this is where I've got my mood tracker, my water tracker. I've been getting quite a few headaches recently and it's because I'm not drinking enough. So I'm doing my water tracker. So that's for two litres of water. Um, and then my 10,000 steps, which I generally hit, but I want to see... But that's in my head that I think I generally hit it, is to check. Okay? And then this is my list. This is my... To it will be my to-do list. But I figured because it's December, relax and enjoy was... A very good tip for myself then my Christmas card list is gonna go on here and just random ideas and this is so I write them down and I don't you know get lost and then this is for my first week okay and then what I'll do is I'll do each week <clears throat> as I get through so that I can plan for the next week but I'm leaving a page because I'm contemplating doing another what they call a brain dump page here for other ideas and blah 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 okay um so yeah so bullet journal so i after the bullet journaling people saw the bullet journal page people asked me all asking what book i was using and if i'm going to be doing any more bullet journaling okay um the answer is yes i will be doing more bullet journaling it is so relaxing and me i love writing lists and this is like crafting and writing lists together it's like a dream come true i can't even tell you so i'm going to be doing some more bullet journaling this is a secura royal talons sketchbook okay it's um 140 gsm paper um so it's not cardstock it is a paper so it is more designed for sketching and whatever but i have found it's really good for bullet journaling there isn't much ghosting that goes through when i stamp or blend and i've stamped an archive link too um and you know uh doing things with my microns so it's going to be a <coughs> so i get so sorry carrying on um, people were asking me what books I like to use for certain things and this is a question that was also asked in crafting together today or yesterday um, so I'm going to be using a Secura slash Royal Talons book for doing bu bullet journaling can we do a monthly journal planner workshop please yes of course um, see that was easy wasn't it um, for my media journaling I use um, if you're just starting out I actually think Dilusions journals are really good um, let me just grab my little one the little one is really weighty mixed media card stock. It takes spray inks, paint, etc. really well. It's designed to take all that gumption um, without warping or anything like that. Um, but because it's smooth, it's still really easy to stamp on. Um, you know, if you are just starting out, you want the confidence when you stamp something, it's still going to stamp because it's flat. So you can still play with all your sprays and everything, but it's still flat. So, or if you're building up layers, again, it's flat. So it's really easy to blend on with your blending tools. It's not a complete separation away from card making. If you're transitioning from card making or sketching, I think the Dilusions journals are a really, really good way to do that. Because they are smooth, but... And they're just... E I've got to be honest, this is my little one, so there's not tons in it. Um, they're just easy. You can do all your different mediums and stuff and it's just they're just pretty and it's just easy to work in um, as you can see i start lots of pages oh there's another one um i start lots of pages completing them is a slightly different thing um but if you are looking for something with a bit more bite with a bit more now i'm ready and i want to do something a bit more than obviously your media journal is really good it's got your cotton cardstock in here it's got craft cardstock it's got um burlap it's got canvas for you to work on this was me playing with scribble sticks yesterday um this is gloss sprays um so they're really good sorry that was just a quick answer question thing for somebody who'd been asking me about books but i love books any book i'll tend to buy them and worry about i bought me a new book from you know b and m for writing lists in it's neon and has got bright tabs seriously i love books books are ace i also got one from i think this one's really nice one it's just a pink notebook <laughs> for writing lists in. Oh, um, and this is the 6x6 media journal. Sorry, how did I miss this? This is a beauty because this is a 6x6. So if you're looking for something um, 
you know, smaller, but a bit weightier to use. This is fab. It's really textured cardstock, though. So the stamps don't always go in a solid silhouette, if that's what you're looking for. But I quite like it. In fairness, I actually love it. Um, so you can have lots of fun in your 6x6. Six six. And that only has the white cotton cardstock in it. But it's 400 gram. It's really, really thick, heavy card. It's marvellous. Right. You write lists down, but you, you forget where you've put them. You need a book. You need a book, Caroline. That's all I'm saying. You need a book. There you are. Your journal is still empty. Okay, Louise, is there anything we can do? I'm just going to cut this leaf out whilst we're chatting. Um, is there anything we can do to help you get started in that journal? Because trust me... It wants you to start in it. You want to start in it. Everybody will be happier once you have started in your journal. Okay, so we're just going to cut this out. Do, do, do. Yeah, as well. You've just done your first two pages, Kim. That's fantastic. In the Dino Wakely Lodge, can someone do something on the brown pages for inspiration as I keep avoiding them? Joe, I will do something on the brown pages this week. But I will say, as an instant go-to, um, if, you, if you're feeling brave, something like the Broken China Oxides, those sort of pale blues, or Peacock Feathers, if you're stamping straight on, look absolutely beautiful on Crafts cardstock. Doing anything in white... Um, looks fantastic on craft cardstock if you want to keep it one colour. Um, the page I did using the Dina Wakely Metallics. Now, I did work on white for this one, but it would have looked excellent. I don't think I was planning to do that this day either. Best laid plans and all that. Where is it? Can't find it. Bear with. You all know the one I'm talking about. Provided you were here and you watched it, obviously. Yeah. So this one I did with the Dina Wakely metallic paints. That would look rather good on craft card stock. You could do that in a similar way, like come in with like a sterling silver and and sort of ombre it out onto the craft card stock and do a similar thing like that. That would be quite cool. That would be really, really cool. Um, you need to make the transition from card making. Darling, <clears throat> do you know what a really good way as well, though? Work on your first page like it's a like it's a card layout. That's all. Just work on your first... Like I said, that's why one of the smaller Dilusions journals would be great. It's a nice... It's a nice size. It's a non-threatening card stock because it's, um... It's obviously nice to use. It's quite smooth but weighty, so you don't have to be afraid of damaging it with anything. Okay, so I'm just going to bend and flex this. You would love a planner. Bujo class. See, I have to say, it was um, Sims, Louise Sims. That The first time she said Bujo to me, I was like, yeah. But apparently that's what all the cool kids call it, Jill. So you're a cool kid. The Bujo. Yeah, I didn't know what it meant when she first said it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not one of the cool kids, quite obviously. Right, so... Okay. So we're going to use some 3D foam on our tag. To just put that on there. Okay, we're not finished yet. We're going to take the earth. No, we're going to take the tallest oak in the forest. It was just a little nut that held its ground, but we're not going to go with all of that sentiment. We are merely going to use um, the oak section. Do you know, that is the last word that I was able to say in an English accent when I was losing my Scottish accent. 
oak. That was the last word. Everything, all the other words changed first. Oak came last. Oak and coke, that sound. Before that, that was where my Scottish accent stuck. Okay. I'm not good with sewing. Uh, I'm just not, I'm, I'm very not competent with soft craft. Um, I, that's one of those things. It's like parchment craft. I think it looks amazing. I will quite happily buy um, handmade um, sewing and all that sort of thing. Soft craft, no. I think that's why I like the media journal because it's got those canvas and burlap pages. I can sort of touch on it without having to <laughs> commit to it. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp the oak here. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is absolutely fabulous. Even if I do say so myself. All right. So I'm going to take this here. I'm going to try and cut it in a relatively straight line, I think. Ish. Ish. I'm going to put... The problem is, I've tried to cut it in a relatively straight line, but I didn't stamp it on one. That's much better. Much happier with that. Right. My phone. I still don't know what that means. What? What did I miss? Oh, there you go Anne did her very first journal page in her and I have to say it's very beautiful in her six by six her brand new six by six journal so if you are looking for a starting point for a first page Anne might have one for you right there there are quite a few journal pages on the Instagram page and if you go on to um, the Be Crafty Stamps group as well um, while I'm mentioning the Be Crafty Stamps group Please do make sure you go and have a go um, at this week's challenge um, because this week's, this month's challenge, because it is all it is is your is is called favorite things. Okay, so what I want you to do is make something using your favorite be crafty product. Okay, so it doesn't have to be your favorite ever it could be your favorite this week it could be your favorite today that's all it has to be and you can enter as many times as you like okay oh sorry bullet journal sorry yes bullet journal Bujo. bullet journal it is not a politician right does distressing some milton fluid work for faux bleaching in milton fluid oh no That's not something I would, I would try. Oh, the number of pages in the journal we have. No, I don't know. Hang on. It might say <clears throat> in the Dina journal, there are. That many. I don't know together. Here we go. Two, four, eight, nine, twelve, sixteen, eighteen. There's eighteen really thick pages in that one. There is more in this one. There is more. I'm going to get Sammy to count those. And in your dilutions one. I'm so sorry I missed that question. In your dilutions one, I've put it too far away and I can't reach it. Oh my god, oh my god. There are 48 pages in this one, okay? Because they're slightly thinner. 
But you do also get a really cool pocket at the front to put things in. I do keep I do keep my bands on my journals because it is my plan and this has to be my plan. Um, as they get finished I will then decorate the covers. But I don't want to do it while I'm still working on them and then wreck the decorated covers because I have done that before on a Big Dilutions one. I decorated it quite, shall we say, near the beginning of its life. Um, and then as I hadn't finished it, it periodically got more and more damaged, the outside where I decorated it. So, yeah, I won't be doing that again until I'm finished. Well, not in fairness, Rosie, they can try it if they want. It's just not something I know, I don't know of at all. Because when I do faux bleaching with um, 54 pages, thank you, Sammy. Um, yeah, there's there's 18 pages, but there's 36 back to front is basically it um, in, the, in the little one. Sorry, I'll go back to Rosie. But yeah, when I think faux bleaching with distress, okay, this is what I think of okay you only need water because i will take my blending tool okay how are we doing for time by the way oh great i will take my rustic wilderness color of the evening okay you do need a big journal now Anne. okay and we're going to blend all over do, 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 do. with our rustic wilderness and this is just um, a backing colour because I'm going to do something else. So I'm not too worried if the blend isn't perfect. Um, really don't get too caught up on it. You know, that's why I'm not worrying too much about starting on the blending mat too much. Because it's not like I'm just doing the soft edges or anything. I'm just trying to get that colour all, all over. Obviously, there is also... In fact, I'll use a little one for this. You know, there is also... You can do direct where you will get a more solid sort of painty look because it's oxide so it's going to be quite opaque and painty look at that that is that's 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 a lot of ink on there right there in all honesty if i wanted that look i would probably use paint anyway anyway so if I was doing faux bleaching, what I would do is I'm going to get something slightly different because I think this will show up better. Do -do -do -do. So this is my Inkables Big Ones folder. So in here, what I'm going to go for in our rustic wilderness is our jungle leaves. Okay. Now, if nothing else, what my inkable should always teach you, what my inkable should always teach you, is if you are using anything acrylic based with your inkables, please make sure you clean it off immediately. Because otherwise, you end up like this, and then your dad tells you off when you take it on TV. I mean, he won't probably tell you off, but he would he'd definitely would tell me off. I'm just going to give that a quick dry, so that's not. Okay. Okay, so faux bleaching with distress. You see, what I would do is I would take this, which I've blended on. I'll then put my jungle leaves in a position where I want it, obviously. And then take a mister or a mini mister or a sprayer. It's totally up to you. I'm going to use a mini mister. Okay, and then we're going to spritz. So it's wet, not soaking okay now what i'm going to do from here is i used to use kitchen roll for this but i'm going to do something quite slightly different i'm going to lift my template off i'm going to put another tag down again i get my I might get my brayer and then lift off the excess Okay, now as that dries, it will become more and more. I'll just fast it up a little bit. You can see 
where it has bleached out, where the water's hit, or oxidised even more. And this is more of an oxidisation thing. Do you see what I mean? And that's where... So in fairness, if I'm using Distress, you bleach with water. You don't need to bleach with anything else. Okay, so I'm going to try it on this. I've not tried it when too much with a direct... Or, oh hang on, we'll do this slightly differently actually. I'm going to spritz this template a bit more. I'm going to put it face down on here. That did not work quite how I wanted. That was just too much ink, I think. You can see it a little bit. You can see it a little bit. I think the, it was just too relieved to be oxidised there because there was so much ink on the thing. But yeah, so Rosie, when I'm bleaching, I'm sorry for doing the fingers, but bleaching with distress, it's bleach. I bleach with water. I don't use anything else because you don't need to. Okay, because water activates the ink, wicks it away from the central section and you're sorted. You know, that's one of those things. Don't make your life any more difficult than it used to, needs to be. Like ever. Seriously, don't do that. Right. So, there was one more thing, actually. I thought, I'm going to give that a go. Um, but I actually don't know what I've done with the cardstock that I want to use. It is here. Right, I'm going to go on with my... Oh, I did also have a play, sorry, quickly, subject change with the new um, wood grain cardstock yesterday. Well lush. Anyway, right, so this is alcohol ink cardstock. It is the four and a quarter by five and a half sheets. This um, alcohol ink cardstock I can now freely get. I also have the air poofers. What I'm struggling to get is the actual alcohol ink itself right now. So please bear with stay tuned um, but that's okay because in all honesty my favorite thing at the moment to use on alcohol in cardstock is distress oxides okay so with that in mind <laughs> so with that in mind we're going to do exactly what i did before we're going to take our in terms of smooshing we're going to take our rustic wilderness on there and we're going to spritz it um i've just used a minimister Okay, and we're gonna. There we go. So you see, you almost get this sort of, um, for want of a bit of better description, almost encaustic art look when you use your distress on alcohol ink cardstock. Now, this is one of these things people have said to me can you use um, photo paper um, and get a similar result? um that is kind of a hit and miss question um i know people that it's worked for um but every single photo paper i try it doesn't work and i'm not being facetious i actually have um just very quickly if you look above my tablet where i'm watching you watching me there is a thing that says a6 photo paper it is full because every single one i try doesn't work so yeah i just end up using my alcohol ink cardstock um it's one of those things it's you know it's a five or a packet it's not like silly 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 money um so it's just easier to use this than keep because i started to feel like i was wasting the ink do you know what i mean um so it just wasn't worth it but you know i don't i'm not saying people haven't had success with it because i know people that have but every time i try and do it on photo paper it doesn't work Okay, so on here, with your oxide, let me just get what's left of that tag as well. You'll see, I'm just going to get you down. You can see it's sort of like a, 
like a shadowy, it's a real chalky, chalky finish. If you compare it to this tag, which is um, a Ranger number eight tag, we did exactly the same thing to the finish on here and how chalky this is. Okay? It's a really, really different finish. Okay, I'm just going to move that light out of the way because it's giving too much glare off the alcohol ink cardstock. Okay? So you can see it's a really sort of, there you go, you can see the grey of the chalkiness. Now what I do like about it on the alcohol ink cardstock is it does seem to like sort of separate the colour out quite a lot, which is absolutely fab. Okay. So what we're going your crafting space is decreasing in size with every project oh, i know my love um and so what we're going to do from here is that we're going to go on with our distress micro glaze okay now distress micro glaze is actually a really handy thing that i haven't talked about in a while now i keep the foam that i apply micro glaze with in the tub because i don't want to mix it up with anything now the thing with um for example, your distress or your distress stain sprays, distress ink, distress oxide sprays, or even your scribble stick, something like your scribble sticks, if you're going on an unprimed surface, okay? They are water soluble. Well, the scribble sticks are water soluble. These are water reactive. If you get to a place where you don't want them to react with water anymore, you're finished, but you want it to be secure because you're going to be doing other things near it, your microglaze will seal that project. Now, if you're going on to a regular cut, now, if I want to stamp on this now, I'll have to use archival, okay? Because it'll be. But if you want to use, to be able to use water near it again without having a problem, you can go over with your microglaze. Now, if you're going on to a regular tag, okay, that will dry and it won't be shiny. It's a little bit shiny at the minute, but it will dry and it doesn't have a sheen. It just seals that shut so no more water can get in it, okay? However, it will do exactly the same thing to your um upo as well but i specifically want you to watch this area here because there's some little sort of like veins now if we go on with our upo with it onto our alcohol and cardstock with our distress micro glaze onto here what it does is it then highlights it sort of buffs and then, then it highlights all the little dots all the veins all those little extra bits that i love about smooshing okay now you see i didn't put i, I didn't put any more on really of the micro glaze because it goes so far now you will mostly see the difference in this i'm just making sure i'm, I'm buffing it off now because i used a bit too much right now with that and if i do that then you can really see the difference can't you so this is rustic wilderness oxides with marker glaze on alcohol ink cardstock, okay? And this is without the marker glaze on the alcohol ink cardstock. I mean, it's an absolute definitive line, isn't it? Because, by the way, I'm not saying this is better than that or that is better than this. It's just showing you that even with the same, with one colour, this only works with oxide, by the way, um, with one colour on your alcohol ink cardstock you can get two different effects with the micro glaze like I say, the micro glaze, I have had this tub since it came out because it doesn't even come in this sort of tub anymore it's grey, it has a grey label because um, Distress are, are changing a lot of their labels over you don't use it you know, I was specifically saying about um, Dina Wakely products and, and 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 stuff the other day. You can't keep them and use them. Like with the scribble sticks, you have to put them down. You know, if you want that colour to come out, you've got to use them. You've got to really get the colour involved. Okay? But I have to be honest, your distress, distress glaze, you can use it and keep it. It's great. You hardly use any. Um, but like I say, piece of advice, just keep keep the foam inside the tub. And I'll drop that back in there. Um, but yeah, so it, it just, I just feel that this is more the oxidey size, and then you get this sort of encaustic art 
type look that's just absolutely fabulous um which i really really like so there you go and that's what i'm here for isn't it on try it out thursday right so i'm gonna stop being a plank <laughs> well i'm gonna try i make no promises so i think we've we've, we've done we've done a bit haven't we we have done a bit this evening um so you could take your micro guy i'm just thinking i'm thinking i'm sorry bear with bear with there could be a thought process occurring right now okay mm, might be too big just thinking if i can quickly put together a page in my dilutions journal have i got anything that's half started it's green looks it'd be nice to do a half started one for a change right that looks like gloss spray should we go on there right so if you had the ink or the spray um like the stain or the spray sorry you could do this this way but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some ink from my oxide and i'm going to activate it with some water from my sprayer i'm then going to use my absolutely enormous Dina Wakely brush this is the two inch and we're gonna just drag some color up and down here not to just to create a sort of brush stroke over these gloss sprays I've got here with that little bit of a background absolutely fab what does it do with the green foam I was using that is a question go i'm going to take my rustic wilderness and my jungle leaves template i think that we were using earlier which i'm going to wipe on my leg because it's still got water on it okay crash the distant rumble bev's got a thinking cap on i know did you hear it? it was amazing wasn't it so i'm just going to go through here slightly just create a very subtle sort of leaf feel. I'm just going to move this slightly over so that it goes right to the edge. <laughs> so we've sort of got these little hint of leaves all the way around the outside. I'm then going to take my oak leaf that we used on the tag oh this desk is getting bad now it's getting bad now and then with the super skinny and the reason your super skinnies are good for journaling is because if you are going on a page you can get right to the edge of the page if you want to so we're just going to go around here with our leaf and we're just going to stamp it up a few times i am not re-inking i'm just getting all the ink off of it to create that sort of look i'm then going to use the earth air light okay off the same stamp set of the oak and we're going to Do the same thing but we're going to stamp at the bottom and then work our way up the page getting rid of all the ink from that we're then going to take our tag 
and that is going to be a finished journal page but before i do that there's a couple of things i need to do i'm going to grab my scribble sticks there is more than you can that you can do with these scribble sticks but this for me is just absolute maze balls there's just no other word for it right so i'm going to get a paintbrush and i'm going to get it wet okay and i'm going to take my lime and get the end of the scribble stick wet and then just flick it to get paint splats on here and then I'm going to take the white scribble stick activate this gorgeous pigment stick and then put some white on there as well oh yes that's better and what i love about this page is we're getting that hint of blue come through from what was on already on the page from where i'd obviously cleaned the template which is quite cool so I'm just gonna heat the scribble stick splatters just a little bit now it needs something a bit more vivid in the old white so I'm gonna get the they're not like crayons or they're no Joe, Rosie honestly it's a fine question the um the scribble sticks think they're more like a pencil they look like a crayon but what they actually are is they are um acrylic pigment sticks um sorry i'm just going to go in with my dilutions white linen um, because i want something that is because i didn't really get my scribble stick wet enough because i'm trying to be quick um and also impatient at the same time um i'm going to go in here with my white linen you could also use your white gloss spray if you wanted to. Okay. So we will heat this just to get it to dry because I want to stick that tag down. Why well, I had to come in somewhere tonight. Did you know I did do... I don't think I used white at all yesterday. Am I crafting together live? I don't think I used it at all. I'm now looking at just checking what I made. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, no, I didn't. But I have to say the butterfly I used was a pre-made element that did have white pen on. I did use my dude like butterfly. So this is why if you are fee you want to have a go at art journaling, um, but you feel more comfortable maybe my splat is a circles, Jane. But you feel more comfortable maybe doing a tag to start with. Okay, so this is the small dilutions journal. There is also a small flip journal that's sort of long ways. Um, that's quite cool. Um, this bit in the middle that's got really wet that isn't drying is annoying me like a lot. Okay. That'll do. Okay. And what I like about this is the contrast with the tag. Okay, so if you look at this page, I don't know if you can see it all. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, so if you look at this page, it's really sort of inky and rustic. Now, in all honesty, this could be a page on its own. If you were then um, able to do something like Sam's funky brush lettering, or you wanted to just do another image, or maybe a journaling girl or something in the middle, okay, um, th this would work. This would totally work as a background. But what I do like is I like the contrast between... Um, what's the word i don't know the sort of slapdash fluidity of this background with the sort of organization of this tag i think the contrast of it makes it a really interesting fun journal page now in fairness this is this is the, the quack, quackest quickest journal page i have ever made in my life i am tempted 
to get more of my tags and actually create journal pages behind them. It's something I used to do quite a lot when I first started. I don't know why I forgot about it and I don't know why I don't do it anymore. Um, because it's a really fun way. These are, I am going to use some collage medium um, to stick this tag in as well. I just wanted some tape to hold it while it sets. Um, <laughs> the tape will only hold it if I can get the backing off. So, any volunteers to come and tidy this craft room? Because, you know, it's a pit. I have got... I have got become rustic wilderness with my rustic wilderness. No, nobody going for that one. Okay. So I'm just going to put some of my distress collage medium in here. I haven't found anything. It won't stick into my journal yet. So this tag will be fabulous with it. Nearly did a whole John Barrowman fabulous then, but I won't. Okay. I was going to put it to the side, but I think I'm going to whack it straight in the middle. Thwackity, thwack, thwack. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, I'm not going to right now. Only if I can do finders keepers. I think Sam's missed coming shopping in my craft room, to be honest. She comes and she says, can she borrow something? And then she sits in here under the guise of helping me having a tidy up. And then she just goes shopping for the next hour. I can't help but notice my stuff isn't going down as quick. Now she doesn't do that. Now she can't do that. Um, so if you wanted to, you could then go and you could add on some faux stitching. You could add on some white accents or some black fine line accents with your pigment microns. Um, so, you know, there is, there is, there is lots more you can do, but I'm actually going to leave. I really, really like that. It's primarily one color. I know I added in those, those, that, that, those little lime greeny splats from my scribble sticks. But aside from that, the whole page is rustic wilderness, <laughs> rustic wilderness. Be very grateful. This is the tongue twister I'm currently having. I've said a very bad thing to my dad the other day when I was trying to say something else it was really bad and it's not a word I would ever ever use but it still came out because I got tongue tied it was really bad um but yeah so I'm quite I, I don't know what I'm going to put here now I'm thinking as daft as it sounds I think what would be really cool here is to do like a crackling campfire version um with maybe the maple leaf I think that would look really nice this side so I'm tempted to do that now so there you go guys for all of you guys that haven't um maybe got started in your art journal yet and you don't know where to start something like that is that easy it's literally just crack on throw something at it Honestly, the beauty of your art journaling, okay, is if you go hideously wrong and you really, really hate it and you don't want to do it, you know what I mean, you can do a couple of different things, okay? You can cut your page out, rip it out. Nobody will know, it's fine, okay? You can gesso over the top and nobody will know and you can start again. You know, if you're thinking, well, I've used a really bad colour and it won't, you know, it won't gesso over the top, then do a darker colour. Go straight over it with some black gesso or some black paint, dilutions paint, and then go again. Honestly, it's absolutely cool. So if you haven't started your art journaling journey yet and your art journal is sat there um, feeling unloved and abandoned, you know, like me... Saying that, I could put in that, couldn't I, and work around that in a different way. So it's become sort of like a double layout. Just lift it down. You know. No, I don't think I will. 
but who knows but yeah so go and check out if you have any other questions um sam's put links to all the rustic wilderness i mean that's just that's i've been able to do that with an ink pad imagine what i could have done if i'd have been allowed all of it you know i'd never have been gone would i um so we have managed to do tags we've done a journal page we've stamped we've used alcohol ink we've used templates do you know what i mean sometimes i think this is what's so cool about sometimes getting a new color i'd yeah you can stick two pages together jane pretend it never existed okay um you can with with getting a new color i think it can sort of take you back um and make you remember all those fab distress techniques that sometimes you don't always do because you forget not just not you forget you forget to remember they're not at the f forefront of your mind so you know all i will say is if rustic wilderness is not the color for you well i don't know why because it's amazing but if it's not you can do all the techniques we've done tonight with any of your distress oxides okay look how much we can do with one color so don't think if you are just starting out, if you are just starting out and you're like, yeah, but the Distress palette is enormous. It is. It is now over 63 colours, okay? It's huge. Start with a colour you like. There is so much you can do with one colour, okay? But the most important thing is have some fun. I will try and get that Scribble Sticks um, live onto um, the YouTube channel um, before the weekend. Um but I hope you've had fun tonight and this will also be on the YouTube channel. If you are watching on the YouTube channel, please click subscribe. Um, and if you haven't registered on the Be Crafty website, make sure you do that because I'll be updating the um, email list tomorrow. And so if you want to get this weekend's email, you need to be on that list. All right, then, my lovelies. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's been quite fun doing a Thursday. You know what they say. Change is as good as a rest and all that. Have a brilliant rest of your week. Have a great weekend. Um, and uh, Sam will see you tomorrow for a Chit Chat Friday. Bye bye.